back in about five, ten minutes, right? Why am I going away in five or ten minutes? I'm not going anywhere. No, you were saying that I should start, right? And no, you... I'll start, but then I'll put it, give it to you. Okay. Hello. Oh, I'll start, but then I'll put it, give it to you. Okay. And come on. Hello. Are we live on I'll what you start, can say? But then I'll put it. I'll see you. Give it to you. Hello, people. We are back here like we always are. This is Carla of the Giggle Fest and Giggle Fest University with you to speak English and speak English, I guess. <laughs> <laughs> I'm having trouble getting words out today. It's the kids show, so we are going to work on getting more kids in than adults. But we want you to come in and talk to us and we'll talk to you. And I'm here with Allie and it seems to be a small crowd today, but that's how it always seems right now. So Allie, talk. <laughs> <laughs> So, people, I'm Muhammad Ali. I'm here to assist Carla in this show. I will be talking more today than usual. But uh, if you have no, Just okay. right now. Okay. <laughs> then it, it also makes more than usual because if I'm talking more <laughs> now, <then. laughs> on on average, it's more than usual. Okay. So, um, just to repeat the rules, general rules. First one is you have to turn on your camera. Second one. You let Carla control your mute button so that everybody gets an equal chance. Um, so third, a specific a special rule for Sunday is that we uh, encourage children to come. So children means uh, people uh, within the range of eight years and 20 years. So if you are 19, you are not really a kid, but you would still count as a kid in this show. So you can, you are welcome to come. Um, speak with us if you want to improve your English speaking skills. You are very welcome to come. Talking. Yeah. So <laughs> I'm. I have no idea what to talk about right now. So. Talk about <laughs> what you did last night. Yeah, yeah. I will. I will try to do that. So what you I have been. Good night. Um. I have. I'm having very un unproductive days these days. So I have a lot of things to do. But when I'm on laptop, so I usually spend time doing something else. I like photography, so I have, I have been uh, improving my previous uh, photos and so on. So I'm just wasting time on that. Uh, there was I, I was mentioning yesterday a Pakistani comedian uh, who now works in. Actually, he moved to US in, when he was 11 years old, and now he's a big comedian in uh, in the US. And uh, I did not like, uh, I'm not a big fan of his comedy, but somebody told me that uh, there is a new movie based on his uh, life story. His, uh, so you, somebody, someone told me that since he's from Pakistan, you should watch it. So I very reluctantly, I downloaded it and watched it. It was actually a quite good movie. So the movie is called The Big Sick. Uh, so the story revolves, it's a kind of a funny story, but it's a real story about him. So the guy's name is Kumail Nanjiani. And uh, he, in this movie, he's telling a story about how uh, he had to struggle to have a white girlfriend because of his family problems, because they are typical Pakistanis. And they were saying that you have to marry a Pakistani. So the movie was about that. It was not very interesting to me. Uh, since uh, my very good friend asked me to watch it, I watched it. It was actually a quite nice movie. 
he can act too he is a okay comedian but he can act it was very nice experience so that what uh, that's what i did i spent 2 hours uh, doing nothing so <laughs> <laughs> i love watching movies so it had been a while since i watched a movie so it was good in a way so that's what i did um kala you are here twice that's that's why i'm no longer there twice i was just checking the what my call it. oh the link to make sure it was working because mm. i'm looking oh i am there well i'm going to remove me it will be really creepy if this other kala starts to talk <laughs> <laughs> especially since the other carla is me <laughs> <laughs> well it's very interesting it seems to be the alley and carla show today yes. uh, i think pawan and husain are watching i'm sure they will come soon they don't care yeah i would rather it be new people <laughs> <laughs> But this is kind of strange. That's why I checked the I was checking the link because usually there are more people coming in by now. And I wanted because, to make- I think I think one of the reasons could be that since I think last three times we came online a bit later than 8:30. It was around 8:40 something. So maybe people are people are uh, going to join later. So Why don't you talk about your day Carla how was it uh, yesterday is morning there so it, uh, your day is still even out the half a day <laughs> yeah, uh, how how it was yesterday apart from the show it was yesterday i didn't yeah. get done anything i wanted to get done i ended up talking to someone for a few hours on the phone which is really unusual for me these days especially after a show i did a you're right maybe it's because we're early today <laughs> um we did i um i have to admit i wasn't in the mood for cooking so i ordered a good and free pizza pretending to be healthy <laughs> but um because i don't even need the gluten free but i know it's healthier <laughs> <laughs> i took the dog out for a walk um the weather's nice here it was rather a boring day i was supposed to get a lot of writing done and nothing got done <laughs> So, you know, here we are and no one's here. And I have an interesting story about gluten by the way. So, in in Germany, my uh, son turned uh, one year in Germany. So, I I took him to Germany when he was 3 months old and we were excited and we arranged a party for my small group of friends, PhD friends. And uh it, usually in the cakes there is uh something with with the pork uh, fat right and uh, in in germany they call it gelatin and uh, so i was trying to tell them that um, i need a custom made um, cake which does not have gelatin and i oh, ended up oh. saying yeah um, ge- gelatin in english <laughs> and i ended up saying gluten and they were saying how can we make cake without gluten it's impossible gluten has to be there uh, something 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 and okay someone is here right ah king of keep keep on talking tell uh, your yes. story oh uh, king of keep is i um, don't think i'll take care of that you keep talking tell your story yeah it's i think all this almost done so if there was a lot of confusion they don't speak very english very well okay so it's a guy i think in our age range so that's yeah that's right. perfect 
No, finish your story, please. Okay, okay. So, uh, what happened was I had I spent like two days trying to explain what what I want because I did not want something that my family cannot eat, and they just could kept on saying that uh, we cannot make gluten free uh, cakes because gluten is a must in a cake. And then in the end, I took my German friend there, and then she explained that look, there is something with the pork. Uh, fat in it. They were saying, "Ah, oh, gelatin, not gluten. It's a gelatin." And then uh, we had a laugh about it. And then they made a custom cake for my son, which did not have gelatin in it. So that was the story. Okay, um, I'm gonna write you a note. Hello, King of Team. How are you? We can't hear you. Um, that's because I was muted. Hi, Carla. Hi, Mom. Well, you're not oh. muted now. I don't think Ali has met the king yet, mm, so no. you need to introduce yourself to the king. <clears throat> I mean, the king needs to introduce himself to you, Ali. Okay. Uh, I don't know how to introduce. Actually, I don't have. I don't do anything. I'm a student. Um, a lazy oh, excuse me. Are you going to start with that thing again? Uh, what thing? Because we're going to have you do some of your work today. You're going to show us why you want to become an actor. Go on. Um, can we do that a little <clears throat> late when uh, we have some kids over here? Yeah, but you're going to yeah. do it today. Yeah, sure. Just give me in any situation, and it would be fine for me. Now you're going to create the the situation. Okay, that's hard. <laughs> you can. Okay, I'll see. I can it out. <clears throat> I just have like bad throat. Like, not. I was not feeling good the past few days, and it was just terrible. Well, you're feeling better now. That's what's yeah. important. It kind of, but still, my throat hurts. <clears> okay, <throat> so, yep, you can continue. I'll just be with you. No, you were to introducing yourself to Ali. <clears throat> yeah, I'm. My name is Atif, and I'm just a student. I want to be an actor in the future. Want to win. Want to win an Oscar. And Nobel Peace Prize, if possible, I think. I want to start my own company. I don't want to do any job. I want to give others job. Yeah, I have a lot of dreams and a few time, if I say, because it's just impossible to fill them all. I yeah, will just figure it out once we are we get old. <clears throat> once um, you get old. Are you saying Ali and I are old? No, I'm saying when I'll just like when um when I'll grow up, like when I have power to decide what I'm going to do, then it maybe it it could be possible for me to fulfill my dreams. Till then, whoa, whoa, I'm whoa, a lazy boy. Right now, you should be working on fulfilling your dreams. Everything you should do is to get the dream done, even for the moment. I'm being real um, hard on you, I know, but yeah, it's, it's, it's um, actually I I am I'm doing my dreams, but I have like I have a lot of dreams, and I'm doing some now, and I'll do some later when I'll just like grow up to to so get myself a better understanding. Today? What? what is your dream for today? Um, nothing actually. I I was just I had an I was having a headache, so I just was lying on the bed, and then I thought, oh, it's eight thirty already, and Carla invited me yesterday, so I just okay, I'll just turn off my computer and just start chatting with guys. So King Adi, welcome. I I just have a small advice for you. Um, in so. I am an academician, so I I have no idea how uh, acting career works. 
but in my field as well when we are in a conference for example um we are told that you when you meet your heroes you just have 2 minutes to talk to them to convince them and share your your passion and introduce yourself so in 2 minutes we have to tell who who we are what is our affiliation and what is the area that we are working on okay so these are the three things we have to do nicely so when carla asked you to introduce yourself you, you cannot just wing it right you, you cannot say say i am just a student and uh, and i want to win an oscar you the the common rules are you say your name then you say where you, you from country and city and then you tell uh, that if you are a student where you are studying what, what are you studying and then you move on to your aspirations then you can tell what you did, did today and so on if somebody is asking so just a piece of advice then these are the key ingredients of an instruction yeah I, I would, um i would I, like to yeah. Uh, yeah i completely agree but yeah as i told i was having a headache so i was just a bit confused so what to say and what to not say as uh, you can um, ask carla yesterday i was just to uh, yes just too much excited and confused at the same time uh, i was mixing of words i was not saying what i um, needed to say it was just a confusion of words too much excited too much confusion it's just that and other in short um i'll introduce myself again if you want um yes. my name is ati my I'm name is ati whoa 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 i want you to add something else i want to add you to add your personality to it not i'm just ati add your personality i'm being really hard on him and he knows why yeah um my name is ati i like to be called king because i am like a medieval fan i just want to um i want to be an actor if i can't be an actor i'll just g- be a scientist and create a time machine and like go like 2 or 3 years ago or i live in london the time that time london or i'll just sword fighting i'll do sword fighting i'll just i'm a medieval fan that why that's why i just brought king into my name and um i am student of aps aps school franchise in pakistan um in hyderabad uh, aps rc in hyderabad pakistan um yes and i want to be an actor in future and after my acting career i just want to make a world this world a better place just by like i just want to do something that will have effect on everyone like if i have enough power i'll just remove all of the uh, corrupt rulers all everyone who is corrupt everyone who does not take care of this country or themselves or, or the other people so i'll just make everything right if i get the chance it's it's kind of impossible but if you think of something and you try to do it nothing is impossible you can easily achieve that well done Well done. Right, now I know. Good. Now I know why you are called King. Now I know where you live. Now I know your school name, and that was a very good introduction. I think it took less less than two minutes, and you introduced yourself to the world. That's perfect. Um, so one question. Uh, I really like your aspirations. Um, so in the real world, I think you already know a bit. Like when you go out to make a movie, so if you are uh, going to be a actor and you said you want to be self employed so i think you want to be a director and producer as well so if you go out in that business there are, there is some kind of uh, how to say uh, it's not always possible to follow yeah, chances exactly of failure you, not just chances of failure but you you by being an actor you want to change the world right meaning you want to follow certain topics in your yep. movies or dramas or whatever you create whatever you act in what ha- what would you do if there are some hurdles to it if other co producers are not willing to our investors are not willing to invest in your ideas what would you do yeah one of the thing i thought um i know that acting is really hard if we want to uh, if i want to make my career acting so it would like i will have faced 
too many failures too many success but still i will have a low chance of earning and there is also an important point for a life so i had one other thing in mind apart from being an actor i want to be in a businessman like one side business and other side acting and i'll show my face through acting business is like for am um, support and um, for backup the so earning uh, i thought because like i'm a child whatever i earn i can give away because my parents mashallah earn and they they give me pocket money and i'm happy with that so if i earn something good i'll give it away to poor because like i'm i'm already having my own i'm already earning myself and my parents are giving me enough money to just make me like what teenager needs some money so my point is if i earn now so i could give away to poors because i don't really need that much money i'll just um, i'll do whatever i want and then i'll give away and if i be actor like i am an actor pretend i am an actor and i am doing a business which is like no one knows it but i am a businessman too earning is like i'm getting money and i am acting acting will be my passion passion whatever it is i will be i will uh, face the world through acting uh, my inspiration is shahrukh khan because i love his background like he was too much poor to buy his father medicines and his father died in front of him because of he was too much poor to have any medicine or something so i like his like the hard work he did so yeah for my backup i have my other plans too but still acting i'll do it as far as yeah you understand it very nice i think I, you should ask him more questions yeah, i well, i brought uh, brought up this topic because when you said acting and when you mentioned all your uh, extraordinary ambitions i really appreciate that the first person that came into my mind was sylvester stallone you know him right yes 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 so you know his story yeah. about rock the rocky movie do you know his story yeah mm-hmm. um so 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 when he wrote the script of rocky rocky is a world famous movie and yeah uh, yeah so uh, he made five um, sequels of it but the first one for the first one he made he wrote a script and he was searching for someone to invest in his movie uh, he found many uh, producers and directors willing to invest in his script but he had only one condition he wanted to be the rocky in the movie yeah. they were not willing they were saying no uh, we will find somebody else you do not fit the character blah 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 he did not compromise on that and at one point he had to sell his dog to somebody to yeah, to yeah. to support his living and and uh, so he did not give up and eventually after trying so hard he found an investor he made so much money out, out of this movie and the first thing he did was he bought the dog back from the guy whom he sold sold to uh so i mean dog is not that important part of the story but the the important part is the the compromise yeah it's uh, he he did not compromise on his values he had an idea and he wanted to go for it and he did so that's what i what i wanted to hear from you that uh, for example if you have an amazing idea that could spread good message about something whatever uh and you wanted to make a movie out of it if somebody is not interested would you compromise on the idea or what would you do that was my idea when i asked you this um actually i'll just move with my idea i'll just save my idea for later and when i'll just be famous enough i'll get power enough then i'll just bring the idea back and then people will love it because they will respect me and they say you are saying so it will be nice I, um yeah i don't know why but it's lagging it's lagging too much for me the video your voice so yeah 
so my my idea is if i have an idea if i want to show something and no one accepts that right now so i'll save it for later when i have enough fame enough power then i'll bring it up again and then i can guarantee that they won't decline it because they know that yes yeah, this guy has enough this guy is enough um you can say popular and he'll do it right he so i can bring up the idea and it will go success that's a good strategy i appreciate that yeah uh, you know about amir zaki as well right the pakistani guitarist mm no um so I he recently he recently died uh, he he was the world famous uh, electric guitarist so the best one of the best guitarists in pakistan uh, so it is also famous about him that he never compromised on his music he when he had an idea it was always very innovative not everybody understood it or wanted to go with it but he never compromised he said no this is my art this is my innovation that's my vision i want to follow that and he it all uh, i mean it all but always worked for him but it created a lot of problems for him as well in his life because if you are not following uh, the mindset of uh, the co-workers around you you not always get all you want you understand me right so in that way i i kind of see your long term vision as well yeah um, so what i Yeah, go ahead. Go on, finish what you're saying. So I was asking him. Uh, so after after school, after finishing school, what are you going to do? Um, I have plans for that. Like after my school, I have talked to my father. After my school, uh, my father will happily send me to an actual school. Um, no matter if it is in Pakistan, no matter if it is in London or somewhere. but he will happily send me if i i finish my school so yeah so i am happy with that i can take that much break i can prepare that much long so uh, all i thought that right now i'll give up give up in acting because like it is like creating a disturbance in my uh, studying and stuff so i had made a promise with my father that i'll don't do any uh, such a thing till till I finish my school. Then he said that he will just um, send me to one good school of acting or something. But I have I have enough time for that. I think he's doing really well. The first time he came, he could barely get any words out of him. And do you want to tell Ali about what happened? Also, I want to announce we have some adults here today for. different reasons most of them are my co-hosts and they come in normally so don't feel that we're keeping kids out because of that but we don't seem to be getting a lot of kids today which I'm a little sad about so okay we're picking on king because king has been wanting to do this for a while And we have some 25 year olds and I'm trying <laughs> to decide what we should do about them. But go on. Adam. Um I just express myself what else should I say? Um yeah, I guess Carla you could you should give chances to other like the Hussein Hussein's child who is waiting with his <laughs> headphones and is not saying anything. and is smiling right now i guess yeah you should give him a chance i'll just figure out something and i'll, I'll just raise my topic okay and let me ask um what do you think we should do with 25 year olds ali uh, i'm sorry i did not hear because your voice is breaking kind of please say again what do you think we should do with the 25 year olds ha <sighs> ha uh... I think we should, we could bring them in because it's 9:15 already, and uh, by 10 we we should finish. I think. And uh, after Hussain, I don't know who else we can talk to. Okay, then let's let them in, and I'll let you take care of that. Okay. We're being very nice today. Okay. Hello, what is your name? 
her same See, child. I, I want to name that. I don't want to go to the same. Say it, Shah Abdullah. I'm sorry. The dog is making it very hard for me to hear. Yeah. Uh, Carla, Carla? Yes. Um, Carla, um, I want to ask you something that is it okay for me to speak um, like when others are speaking? Can I just say, um, unmute myself or speak um, to um, add something to what they're saying or just correct them or just support them or something? Am what I you can do that? is you can, you can raise your hand and when yeah. Carla thinks it is appropriate, she can unmute you. Mm, is it, is okay. it fair, Carla? You know, a team has been, King has been on our show very many God. times before you knew him. And he knows when to stay quiet and he can stay unmuted, but he just needs to let me, give me a sign he wants to talk and I'll let him talk. Okay. Okay, it's fine for me. Thank you. I'm breaking rules, I know, today. Sorry, Allie. <laughs> Carla, it's it's kids' day. Be kid. Enjoy like kids. It's kids' day. No, I really need to, to be honest. Okay. <laughs> well, I don't want to see adults with kids as much as I want to see kids here. Okay. What is your name again? I'm sorry, I couldn't hear it with my dog acting like a fool. My name is Sayyid Shah Abdullah. Okay, and what, what, how old are you? I am 10 years old. Okay, and where do you go to school? Penkan Education System. Tell me that again. I'm sorry. I, I'm this. Penken Education System. Okay. And where is that? G. Where is it? Where is your school? Where do you live? Yeah. I live in Islamabad. Okay. What do you like doing in school? So what do you like doing in school? What do you like doing in school? You asked. You asked. <laughs> which subject? Which subject do you like, Abdullah? Abdullah, which subject do you like in school? Science. Ye jo ab kar rahe ho, ye main kar raha hu. Theek hai na? So, what do you like about science? Do you do experiments in the school? What do you like about that? G. G. Okay. So when when you when you say G in the show, you say yes. Okay. Yes. Okay. Because Carla cannot understand G. <laughs> you understand this, right? Yay! I'm sorry, we just got another kid. And kids have preference today. <laughs> <Yes>. <laughs> so what else do you want to say? Uh, so is Hussein your father, Abdullah? Yes. Okay. Is he beside you? Is he right next to you right now? Yes. What? What else do you want to say? Do you want to say something else? Carla, help me out here. I'm, I do not know how to make no. him speak. No, no. You're doing a good job. I wasn't sure what. And I want to ask him. So, so do you do you play outside, Ab Abdullah? Yes. What do you play? Cricket. OK. Do you bat or do you bowl? Bad. Okay. Uh, Karna, uh, uh, King Atib wants to ask something, I think. Should, should, uh, are yeah, we yeah, let's let King Atib ask something. Karna, um, do you uh, remember two weeks back when we had Saad and Hassan and Muhammad Alam 
so i i remember that um that day um hussein uh, uh, hussein's child abdullah was speaking um he was just uh, he was just answering the questions his father was detect detecting him so he is doing much better um if we compare it to that day i i, I remember him i remember uh, hashim my friend uh, son of mohammed alam he is doing um Mom, uh, abdullah is doing way better because if you remember last time uh, his father was repeating the question you were asking him and he was just answering to his father and then he was telling us that's uh, now really he's just yeah he's just he he just improve a lot and it's that's, a good thing that's a very important point to bring up because to be honest with you i didn't remember and you did and that's great observation thank you king I'm going to unmute him again. Do you have anything else to say? No. Can we move on to the next person? You know what? I'm just going to move on. I hate to do this, but I think we need to. When you know what you want to say, just let us know and we'll come back to you. Mamu's older son, you get a turn. um hello everyone and assalamu alaikum um well uh, he's not the hi and he is the second one the middle one the elder one is unfortunately ill right now so oh what is he sick with um i'm not sure of uh, but he um he has a high grade fever oh uh, my elder son Okay. So, uh, so right now he's the only one available. His name is Hashir. He's my second son. Yes. Hi. I was Hashir. correct that. I was correct that his his name is Hashir. I remember very good. Yeah. And uh, and Atib, I would like to tell you that you have a very good observation and uh, the thing yeah. that you have referred. about the hussein kid uh, i totally agree that he is now uh, more in towards the conversation and he he has done a good job mashallah yeah. he is speaking right now so he has done I'm, a very good job indeed i also want my son hashir to speak and i want him to be fluent and i hope one day he will be fluent so <laughs> so i would like you to Why don't you guys just talk? Okay. Why don't I just let um Atib and your son Hashir speak? It's totally up to you and Ali. Bear me for today now. <laughs> <laughs> Atib, I want the kids talking a little, and I will get to the older people in time. You just need to wait a few moments. This is I, really geared for kids today. I can't, I can talk, but I just don't know what to talk about. Just, you have a team, and I'm sure a team can get you talking. I'm a magician, and I'll make you talk, no matter what happens. <laughs> By the way, um, I was, I want to show something. Um, if I have permission from. Mr. Ali and Carla. <laughs> What are you going to show us? But I'd like Mamu's son to say something before you show us. Uh, yes, I should go on speak. Yes, he's muted. Okay. Can you hear me well? Okay, mm. you're unmuted. Hashu. Yes. um speak go ahead 
say something? Yeah. Kind of see, that's a problem with us. We just can't make new friends. We just don't know okay. what to say. Okay, okay. Well, you know what? I'm going to say something now. Tariq wants to say something. That's the problem in the world. We are all afraid to make new friends. It's time that we begin getting rid of that fear and begin making new friends. And all you have to do is give out a smile, maybe laugh, but you need to get out of your own little shell well, and begin to make a new friend every day. Um, you know what? I'm going to say this very quickly. We don't need older people in here if they can't follow the rules. The kids are being excellent. I kicked them all already. Don't worry, Carla. He's one. Yeah, I, I wanted that to be known. Mm. Okay, so Mahmoud, Mahmoud's son, Hashir, put your smile on. And say hi to Atib. Believe me, you won't die. From me. You're going hi. to live. Hi, Atib. <laughs> Hello. How are um, you? Hello. I'm good. How about you? I'm also good. <laughs> yes, and that's where conversation ends. Always happens to me when I'm typing with someone. <clears throat> So, Asha, you didn't tell me which school you were at. I'm in Arad. Beacon House. Beacon House. Yeah, yeah. It, I just heard all about it. Um, it's a good school, I suppose. What about you? You know, I told you, yes. Okay, so I'm in APS. Oh, in Hyderabad. Yeah. Carla, remember I told you you were very young. You look very young. Keep you on saying like, that. <laughs> you you look like sixteen. Come on, sixteen is a teenager. You can speak. I want you guys to speak. <laughs> I. What should we speak about? We ask how we are. <laughs> now what? Ask about what he likes to do in the in school. Um. Okay, Hasha. Which yes. subject do you like the most? I like maths. What are you saying? The most impossible subject? No, it's a good subject for me. <laughs> Well, it was good until algebra came out. It's a little bit difficult, but we can. If we do hard work, so we can do it. Um, yeah, maybe, but still, math is a nightmare. <laughs> Which subject do you like? Um, more like of literature, English. It's English. English is like my type. Yeah, I, I like more of literatures, not literature, single one. And English is my favorite subject. Yes. So, do you play sports? Yes, I play sports and I play mostly football. Well, good for you then. Yes. Uh, I remember. Um, Carla, Which I. What um, I like, like, um, I like every sport, but I can't play. Um, Kala, I want to tell that um, last year, it's about to be in full year. I had an operation, a surgery, a surgery. Of, yeah. What kind of surgery? Uh, um, appendix. Um, Ooh. Yeah. So it was like. If I waited one more day, it would have bursted. That that's what the doctor said. So, so after that, I was forbidden to do any exercise for like few months. 
straight and now I'm too much lazy to do any exercise so I'm lazy hey Mara is here hi Mara <laughs> okay Mara you can talk we're having a shortage of kids today, so I have allowed some of the older people to come in. But if they can't follow directions, they'll be gone. Okay. And Mara good. is busy yawning. Yeah, well, you have to remember, I worked from 7 o'clock last night until 7 o'clock this morning. So, like, I actually fell asleep this morning. Well, I went to, my mom was stayed the night last night. Uh, even though I was gone. And then when I got home, I was locked out of the house. So then I sat outside for a half hour waiting for them to wake up and then finally got to go in the house. And then uh, we went to breakfast. And then after breakfast, my mom wanted to like hang out here for a little bit. So I was like sitting on the couch trying to stay awake. And I guess I fell asleep. And then I, I just woke up. I'm so sorry. <sighs> <laughs> so I'm not like fully awake so like when I saw oh gosh it's past time to go to the show then um I was like oh well I'll, I'll go on the show for a little bit so hi everybody <laughs> we're glad you came um I don't know what has happened to Takwa. I'm going to try sending her another message inshallah uh, inshallah she'll be here but if I we, got to have a wonderful, wonderful conversation with her and, and her father. And they're just super amazing people, just really genuine and kind. I just adore the, her, their whole family. And I hope that, you know, um, their life is very, very good because they are so worthy and wonderful and such a blessing right. to have in our lives. So. They're amazing. She's been, I've heard from her every day this week. And she was active. Oh, she hasn't been on for 20 hours. They she made might have some had problem. power problem. Uh, yeah. uh, her, her father told me that they are going to Lahore for some checkup. She was ill. Now I just remembered. Oh. Yeah. She had some, um, I don't know. She, she's sick with something, and uh, she, they had to go to another city for checkup. I think they are not in the city right now. Okay. That's why she's not here. So, no, Stella, we can all make dua for her that her checkup is successful, and that whatever illness she's dealing with, that we can hopefully, inshallah, you know, she's healed quickly and yeah. is much, much, I mean, much better. I mean, inshallah. Yeah. yeah. Hakeem is here with. Oh, I keep on strawberry. How are you? <sighs> Mamu's son. Yes. Mamu's daughter. Akeem, your job. Tariq, I have unmuted you so you can talk a few times and you never say anything. <laughs> okay, Tom. Okay, are you did not give me. Okay, well, oh. you did not. Okay, good. That when you say okay, talk, so I have the permission to to talk. Otherwise, I have to listen. Anyhow, <laughs> hello to everybody. <laughs> hello to everybody. How are you? Uh, I am very glad to see you all very well, very healthy, and really thank you very much, Ali. And I am very happy to see Mara with her new look hijab <laughs> very big respect for her really and um, about Atib and uh, Ali's son sometimes when you are in the same you know in the same country uh, it's normal that you talk in your own language the abnormal thing that when you talk in some foreign language for example you talk in arabic or in english you have to be used to talk on english to practice very well when kala say that atib talk to mahmoud's son she needs that 
to talk in English in any subject, in any way. She means, okay, you start very well when you say that, okay, what about sports? What about something good that you talk about your sickness and your operation? But you have to continue your conversation with uh, Alam Sun. Please, Alam Sun, I don't know that your name. Please, would you say, would you say your name again and what you are interested with? Please, both of you, thank you very much. That's what um, I'm going to talk. Um, thank you, uh, thank you, Tarek. Um, I just wanted to say, I just want to clarify one thing that um, throughout my like entire childhood, I didn't had much friends. I, I don't have a few friends, not in school, not in neighborhood or something. So I just don't know much to how to communicate with them. And I just, I'm not too good in making new friends. The main problem is that I don't have any friends. That's why I don't know how to make any friends. That's, that's the only problem. You know, he told you now. So, Tarek, Tarek very nicely explained it to you. Uh, yeah. So you should learn, right? So we are all your friends. And uh, you are communicating with all of us. So he, that's a start. And Tarek very nicely explained to you. So you should... You should yeah, I, I appreciate side. that. I'm, I'm sorry, Tarek, I okay. cut you off. Okay. What's your what you interesting with? No, 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 please, you say very well, thus you are saying very well. And Mr. Atib, you are fantastic, and you know how to communicate with everyone. I'm very glad that you are, we have, a, we, we can sure very old man like me, we have white beards, and not very young. Five, six, seven years. <laughs> you are in the middle age. Okay, uh, uh, Mr. Atib and Alam Sun. Alam Sun, please, what you are interested with? What Sorry. you are interested with? What you love? What you like to do? Um, Hasha, Hasha is asking, um, uh, what are your hobbies? What do you like to do when you're bored or something? Uh, I, I, uh, I mostly listen music and my future plans are to join Pakistan army yeah. wow, that's a good that's a good start um actually my father um is an army officer he's a colonel and he is retired of course so yeah I, I just got too many uh, I, I just got um so many manners that he taught me so I'm I, I just glad that he did because People are appreciating me for that. All all of my good deeds, all of my good manners are, have come from him. So I'll just heads off. My cousin, my cousin in also are in Pakistan Army, and he is lieutenant. Yeah, that that's an amazing thing. Wait, I Pakistan Army is like he, he they do a lot for the world the army does a lot for the world and there are some people that do not appreciate army they say that they fight and they do this and that just bad, bad deeds and all of that but still pakistan and not just pakistan but all armies are good they just do whatever they do they do it for the uh, the country their family so yeah Pakistan Army is good also. Okay, let me ask you, do you think uh, Alam, Alam Khan, do you think that the army which you are going to uh, is constructing machine or very bad am I right? Am mm. I saying right? No, no uh, Mara. I don't agree. Mara, I. <laughs> no, 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 no. I, I am saying in general, not not in Pakistan, definitely. I am saying in general. I think that think... the military in various countries serves many different purposes, you know. And I'm sure is there a component that makes destructive items? Absolutely, you know. But that's just a component of the military. You know, they also help in many different aspects to, you know, help society to increase 
um, goodwill and and to help people in times of hardship and trouble, you know, wow. um, and especially like in Pakistan, you know, um, they've suffered so much um, devastation at the hands of other countries. And um, part of the military's job is to help to rebuild um, a lot of what others have destroyed. That's yeah. my opinion. Yes, I agree with you because I know that hundred percent that the army and every country they construct their country and they do they do a lot for society i want to hear the same thing from alan son i want them to talk i'm i'm trying right. to yeah. open <laughs> i'm yeah, trying to open something right. i just don't i don't want like like that's a pretty um <laughs> that's a pretty intense topic for like kids to like maybe yeah. um, accurately depict. And I, I don't want for them to maybe miss, miss say something that could be interpreted wrong because I don't want a bad depiction of Pakistan um, and these children are from Pakistan and, and maybe they might say wrong, you know? And so I, I rather give my opinion first and, and then they can elaborate upon, you know, their own interpretation. But I think that's, appropriate and i just want to add something we have farad sheik here who probably thinks i forgot him completely farad it is the kids show if you don't get it on today i will make sure you get on tomorrow okay remind me send me a friend request but I have to let the kids go first, and my co-hosts are here to make sure I keep them on track. Thank you very, very much. Mahmoud, Mahmoud's son and King Atib, I'd like you to say what you need to say about it. I really do want to hear your opinion. Um... Actually, I'm out of questions. I just, yeah, let, let Hashir ask me questions. Hashir, go ahead and ask me what I do. Ask me questions because I'm just out of questions to ask you. I think that they wanted you to ask the answer the question that uh, Terry had put out, the one that I also answered. Yes, exactly. What is your favorite place in Pakistan? Okay, and the first question is very hard. Um, I cannot tell exactly because there, 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 there are just too many places that are beautiful. I can, I can, I cannot say that what is my favorite because I just, I don't, I haven't traveled much. Um, I cannot accurately answer that, but I guess Kashmir has very beautiful view. Um, I was born in Koita and Koita is very cold. Yeah, it's cold and it's good. I don't remember. I was young. Um, yeah. So, I guess Kashmir because it's just too much beautiful. There is are too much greenery also. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> next question, please. I have a question about Kashmir. Is that where you find all the Pashmini um, wool? Sorry. Sorry. In Kashmir, is that where they fi we find all the Kashmir and and Pashmini wool? Stop uh, laughing! <laughs> actually, actually. <laughs> <laughs> Kashmir and Kashmir feel completely different. <laughs> I don't know. Kashmir is spelled with a K. Kashmir is spelled with a C. Like, if you're talking about Kashmir wool. Um, no, let him answer, Mara. I don't okay. want your answer. No offense. Actually, I don't know. <laughs> I don't know. You can ask Ali because he 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 knows better. I, no, I, just... I want to hear from you. <laughs> I don't know what just what does that mean. I don't know. They don't know what Kashmir is. They don't know what Kashmir. Oh, okay. 
<laughs> they, they know Kashmir is the is a is a beautiful area of Pakistan that's in like a lot, yeah. lot of turmoil between like there's Kashmir in India, Kashmir in Pakistan, and there's lots of yeah. like problems going on in that region. So that's what they think when you say Kashmir. They have no idea what Kashmir is, and and they probably wouldn't necessarily associate it with um, wool. <laughs> <laughs> wool. Uh- Okay, um, I, I, I... So I showed my stupidity. <laughs> no, you didn't. You know, I, I don't want to say that, but I just thought it was really funny. <laughs> Meanwhile, Bodie is falling off the bed. <laughs> you know, there is the most beautiful places in the world, in Pakistan and India. Kashmir, Kalam, Karan, Kuwaita, Bahrain. And WFP uh, in Punjab and send in Pakistan. Uh, there is hundreds and hundred places you cannot count it. I'd like to say that the paradise of Allah, the paradise of the God on the earth is Kashmir. As the, those people said, the the people who who live there. For example, I went there once, and I will describe the scene which I have seen. Two mountains, full of green, between them there's a river, and when the sun rise up, really there were there were some little rain in the morning. When it's shining, I feel that when I open my eyes, I feel that I'm looking to the gold, real gold, reflecting. The eye, uh, the sun, uh, the sun beams. It's like a gold, real, real something different. You are in paradise. Plus, you, you, you will see that the the people how they are wearing. They will some some different colors, not like uh, the other places in Pakistan, uh, dark brown or uh, some dark violet. Something like that. Really, they are different, completely different. And their skin color is very white and red. You cannot think that they are from, like me, for example, dark dark color. They are something different. You feel that they are from Europe or from Eskimo, or you can think from Antarctica. Very, very white or red skin color. And they are very hospitality people, very guests. You you cannot imagine how they are have clear and very nice. And even from their eyes, you feel that they 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 work as a clean heart. And something else for Atib and Alam, if they say something wrong, we are here not to count in them. We are here to correct them. Right. Not to say this is yes, you say that you have to be one, two, three. No, 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 no. Please do as much as you can say, do mistakes, and we will try to correct you. Also, we are not God. Also, we do a lot of mistakes. I do mistakes, and I'm trying my best to correct myself. And also, my friends here, they correct me. I am very grateful for Carla and for Ali. And for Mara, and for others, real Kashmir, and for you also, all of you, you do a lot of me. You make day by day. I correct my thinking. I correct my feeling. I feel something else. I try to communicate communicate with others, really with different ways. I feel something different with you, really. Okay. Thank you very much for everybody. Please. Thank you, Terry, Thank you. for saying that. Um, Farad Sheikh is here, and maybe he can talk to Atib, King, the king, and give him a chance to speak, because he's been sitting here and sitting here, and I feel so <laughs> bad for that. <laughs> he's a little old for the show, but we let him in, so. Hi, everyone. My name is Farid. I'm from India. And oh, where in India? In Ahmedabad, wow. in, Guj- in Gujarat, near in Mumbai. Yeah. 
I am wow. from New York. Go on. Amazing. Yes, but uh, but I have nice. It's not nice history when I was baby. So I moved to Copenhagen. <laughs> In in Denmark, capital of Den uh, capital of Denmark, it's uh, named Copenhagen. And oh, now I, I spent a summer in Denmark. Oh wow! I it's, love Denmark. Go uh, on. Oh, uh, thank you so much. And last seven years, I'm living in Sweden. So I I wow. I'm living in very small town in Sweden, uh, in near in Stockholm, Stockholm. So here in this people. It's hard for me to find the 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 international people. So I'm I I speak uh, uh, Danish or Swedish or Norwegian. So so when when I just meet the people from outside the countries like the British people, so it's hard for me to speak in English because I'm forgetting my language because I catching another language. So that's why I thought like uh, I uh, it's a good idea to speak English or something like this. Yeah. <clears throat> and so your I'm, is beautiful, Farid. Oh, oh, thank you so much. Thank you so much. It's my honor. Really, it's my honor. I'm living last seven years alone, but soon my wife. See, I just got married last month, oh. so my wife she's on the way here. I married in Indian in Muslim family, so so she got the visa. So she's coming next week. No, uh, or next week or the the in the twenty two. The next next week. Yes. Well, you know what? You can bring her to the show too. Yes, of course. Yes, yes. I will. Uh, when 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 I was in India, so I just uh, because she is so much shy, she is so much shy. So I just saw her these uh, Carlas and all uh, how she can become more open because she is uh, she is. Uh, in uh, in my family in india in ahmedabad the muslim women they don't have confidence they stay in uh, in they stay uh, they spend most of their life in uh, university or college and and home so it's hard for them to become open uh, with different culture and different people something like this that's why why i thought like this is a nice program uh, she can be it's uh, easy because she's in the room and she have opportunity to talk with the different people i'm so glad you came can you talk to the king a little because that's the purpose of the show to talk to kids okay okay of course of course of course have you um, been in uh, outside the uh, outside the pakistan you talk um, so much about actually. pakistan um no nope. i'm actually depended on my uh, on my parents so um and inshallah i'm looking towards um being in india but we have a lot of like restrictions because you know india pakistan war and stuff and i hate that because i'm just a fan of india the culture india was supposed to be an art um if we uh, see historically indians and muslims lived together but now uh, because of british and something they the british empire created and divided and rule and the india the muslim and hindu started fighting muslim hindu sikh started fighting and it was just uh, it was just too bad and then uh, muslims had to be aparted apart um from india into pakistan and actually i i i think india is good i think we could be um better again but it it would be it would take too much time for that to happen because of the um corruption on both sides because of the um, parliament because of the government on both sides they just want us to fight um because for their own purposes for their own entertainment for their own joy um i i want to be in india because my idol shahrukh khan is from india i want to be in switzerland in future when i retire so that's too much fun yeah so i have a lot of plans i have a lot of plans to just it will take so much time for me to i just want um wars on both sides to end and then i'm waving my hand so it would be nice if pakistan and india could be friends again it would just be too nice 
Yeah. So that's my point. You can continue. I hope your your dream comes true one day to visit Switzerland. I have been in Switzerland many times. So yeah. because Sweden is also very beautiful, but Sweden don't have lots of advertisement from other countries. You know, Sweden's beauty is amazing. I have been in Galgit. I have been in Pakistan because I lived with Pakistan's family. So I have been in Galgit in Islamabad in this area, this yeah. this area. But still, still, I have very nice words about Sweden. about sweden they have nice yeah. beauty yeah i agree because once i read a book called hedy which is a child's book but still amazing and it described the switzerland's beauty like the mountains the greenery the goats the milk it just it's just too much beautiful so i i want to uh, i want to just go to switzerland after i retire that will be like 100 years from now or 200 years if i if i am immortal <laughs> yeah i believe i'm immortal but still no one at least yes yeah. good switzerland is pakistan and india they are friends they are friends and they are one nation and the political way nation. what 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 was happened it's like a wave it's sometimes high sometimes low but the people still friends and they will never do any mistake together i love indian and i love pakistani and the most important thing for mr sheikh farid congratulations for your Thank you so marriage Thank you so and we hope so that i know the eastern people they get jealous very quick <laughs> and they will come to know you ask you <laughs> you get my point <laughs> How come you know Carla? <laughs> uh, <laughs> She was still jealous. <laughs> I did not. Uh, I did not get you very well. But I. Uh, I Anyhow. Anyhow. Um. We're. Okay. Okay. The... Insha Allah, your family will be with you, and Insha Allah, you will be happy. Thank you so please, much. Please. Yes, uh, ma'am, Carla. Yeah. Usually we have more kids here and today the kids were kids and they didn't tell me whether they were coming or not coming. And this show is really dedicated to kids. So people who are coming in and saying, "Hey, I want to come in." If you're 25, you're a little too old for the show. But the other point is, if you come in and I'm allowing you in, you need to put on your camera. You need to play the rules. I'm not going to bring kid anyone else in today, just so you know. We are going to be ending in a few minutes. So come back tomorrow. All of you are welcome to come to the adult program. We're happy to have you, but please let the kids have their day. Be fair to them. Be respectful. They're extremely respectful for you during the week. End of my speech. <laughs> And to be honest with you, Farid, you know that I didn't really want to bring you in, but I brought you in anyway because we needed people. I'm, I'm glad that he came though because no, I let, think that he that added is what I'm saying. I am extremely happy you came. For more than so the much. reason that you added some really good information, but for another reason. And I wish Mara had stayed for me to say this. You were you were so respectful to the kids. Yes, of course. So much sad. And I was just so I, you know, we've been typing off and on during the show. You know that I appreciated everything you brought in. So thank you so much. Usually we don't allow kids to come in, but adults to come in today. But I'm so glad that I did bring you in, and I'm so glad that you were extreme. You were just extremely, and I mean extremely. respectful of the kids who were here. And that's what I was trying to say. I hope you got the point. 
Yes, yes, I got the point, Carla, ma'am. I am very grateful that you, 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 you gave me this chance, this opportunity to come in. It's. Uh, I would like to say sorry. It was. It, it wasn't my mean. This is the children day. I of course respect the children. Children are our future. Something like this. Yes, that's what I want to hear people say. Yes, yes, they are our future. That's why I'm silent. Uh, they, that's why. They, that's why. If I disturb, so I would like to apologize. Okay, I'm sorry. It, it wasn't my mean to disturb all the people. Something like this. Oh, mm-hmm. you were absolutely perfect. Yeah. Thank you so much, Kala. I Kanda. am so glad you came. Uh, Thank you you so don't much. know how glad I am that you came. And I wanted to preface it with the other thing. So people didn't feel that I was giving you preference. I wanted them to know why I had you come in like I did. Mm-hmm. Okay, thank you, you so were much, Ken. extremely special. You were extremely wonderful. And yes, I'm so happy you came. Thank you so much. It's my honor. Believe me, it's my honor. Thank, thank you, Carla. Carla, it's ma'am. My honor to have you today. Yes. I uh, actually, I just came from India, and uh, and when I was in India, so I was with my families, you know. So I was alone here. I uh, I gonna start my work from tomorrow. Tomorrow is Monday. So so Sunday is very boring in my little town. So it's hard to meet the people in the street as well. Well, and uh, when I was in in India, so I was with my all the families and children, so many people. So I was used to last last three weeks. So when I came here, so so I'm I feel like very lonely. So I thought like this is the good idea to just become busy and talk with Carla, ma'am, or something like this. I'm so glad you came, and Thank I you. do want you to come back. But I also wanted you to know why I appreciated you, because yes. there were other people who were not following the rules. And, I'm dis- you know I'm impressed with the king too, because he has been very patient and very respectful. And I, you know, you need to say it. It needs to be said. Thank you. What's do you have anything um, else to say, Farid? Yes, uh, it's not it's not lots of uh, to say, but it's a it's a great idea to talk with the different people. It's like it's it's nothing wrong to talk with the different people. You, it's mean like uh, uh, I will get lots of tradition or like they have different traditions. The different people have different uh, living standards, something like that. So it's a cool, it's a nice to know the different uh, different feelings, something like this. Thank you for coming, really. Yeah, thank you so much. Yes. And I hope it so didn't much. sound like I wasn't respecting you being here at any point in when I was talking. No, no, no. It's fine. It's fine. Yes, yes. I respect you, ma'am. You know, I lo- uh, when I was baby, something. So we learned in in my in my family. We learned like the teacher have very big respect. You know, because they give you eyes to show the world. I have I got the two eyes from the God, and the teacher give you more two eyes. Like that's why I say you, ma'am, ma'am. So. So it uh, it wasn't my mean you disrespect or something like this. I was I was quite upset that maybe I maybe this is the children day and then I just come in. No, and you waited so patiently, and I was just so happy you came. And yes. anyone who I should to follow the rules. That whole thing would have never known what had actually happened. Yes. Yeah. Oh, we do have one child. Oh, he disappeared. He came too late. We had one other young person to come in, and the rest are adults. I'm sorry, guys. You have to understand the children's program is for the kids. Sorry. Um, Carla, I have yes. a question. Um, most of um, people, most of kids and people um, come 
or from Pakistan or India, like they come from Asian com Asian cities or countries. So I want to ask, um, isn't there any child or someone who belongs to America, US or UK who could join us in kids show, adult show? Is it possible? I am working most... on that all week long. <laughs> Every day I work on that. Mm -hmm. I get kids who are interested and then they don't show up. That's the problem. So um, believe me, it's something I'm working on regularly. I can bring the Swedish people, but uh, Swedish children, but they are so much shy. They can only speak Swedish. And, uh, well, well, you can be a translator for them. Yeah. Yes, yes, I can bring. I can bring because I have lots of I have lots of family. You see, I have I have Swedish children. Something I have lots of picture with them or something like this. In Sweden, I would like to show you Swedish evening. Okay. Okay. This is Swedish evening. You can see. Yeah. We are very, very silent. Yep. And sun is shining today. It's hardly sun is shining in Sweden. Yeah. And mostly, mostly uh, people, uh, we, they they drive the bicycle here. Everybody have a bicycle. Yeah, yeah. I I I actually want to um, I just want to time travel and I just want to go back on the time where there was just like no pollution. There were no much uh, uh, that big deal of um. Uh, how can this parliament government stuff they were just peace the everywhere. crime you mean yeah, about crime, the crime yes, yes. The crime the government the government itself is a crime yes or are doing a crime you know so my I, brother I, I just want yep you know my brother king uh, here what happened the in india and pakistan they we have lots of people lots of people it's hard to manage or in the sweden uh, in the in the Sweden, we are few peoples, only few. So they have very, they have very nice system. They all people follow the systems. They have nice yeah. system. They they don't ask so many because in the Sweden, only nine point five million populations. It mean, uh, in uh, in uh, in Urdu, it's a only ninety five lakhs people. In 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 only in Karachi, they have they have so many peoples. So it's hard to yeah. manage. You know. It's it's about seven hundred and fifty million population of Pakistan, and that's about a million. India, yeah. China, you can just it's just, it's just too much people to handle at the same time. Yes, yes, yes. This is this is, and and we have lots of lots of corruption, so many corruption. Yeah. When I was in India, I was every day I was so much sad. I can't see the people are crying. So I can't help them, but it, my heart was crying. Really, I I was so much. Oh my God! Under 18 years, children they work there or something like that. No rules. The people are dying. People are upset and 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 something like this. So it was quite hard. Um, my friend, humanity is destroyed. You have to accept the fact. Humanity humanity is destroyed by everyone, of course. And to bring humanity back, it's just too much difficult. Pakistan and India, we both ha hate each other. Um, not literally, but they make they make a lot of hate. They just don't like whatever they do. They get jealous. They blame on each other. It's just and humanity. Um, I can tell um, Carla. I want you to search up 16 December 2014. Just search that that search that date on um, Google or something. 16 December 2014, and you'll know that humanity is just dead. Can you send that to me in a text so I remember the date? I won't be. Believe me, that'll okay. slip my mind almost as soon as we get okay. off. I just, I just. How many languages you know, Carla? How many languages you know, Carla, ma'am? <laughs> I speak. Uh, sorry, one. sorry, sorry for my I, question. <laughs> I okay. I speak fluent English. Grew up with it. Yes. I have learned a little Spanish, a little French, Spanish. 
Espanol. No, Virgil, I need to say that. And I used to be <laughs> fluent in Hebrew, but I'm not anymore. Oh. Wow. Good. Thanks for answer, Kalla. <laughs> not a problem. <laughs> Anyway, we yeah. are approaching a very long show, so I would like to say goodbye. Farid, because you did come today and you did get in, uh, I once <laughs> said yesterday was fine, tomorrow was fine. Really, we're trying to bring in my new people now. So, yes, yes, I will try my, I will try my best. I have project to work tomorrow, so I will come like the four o'clock, and then, then I will try my best to come in because I'm used to speak Swedish, Swedish, Swedish. So when I was in India, so I feel like so much sad. Oh my God, my English, uh, my I don't have c commands in my language in the English, so I should to speak English. And in this town, everybody only speaks Swedish, Swedish, yeah. everybody. So I just forget my language in English. So I should to come back like this. Farid, I'm trying to say the opposite. You got in and you got to speak a lot of English today. Yes, so yes, why thank don't, you. Sir. Why don't we just give it a few days and you can come back? But we're trying to really focus on new people coming in at this point. Yes. So... And I wanted to make that point. That isn't, <laughs> it's just where things are right now. And we're going to say goodbye now and go off of camera. Wave goodbye. Thank you. Goodbye. Carla of the Giggle Fest and Giggle Fest University. We will be back tomorrow. We will be broadcasting from my profile page and sharing it over at Rayhan, so you will see the link, but it will be from now on on my profile page. So feel free to come by, say hi, and we're glad to have had you. Wave goodbye. Okay. And we are going off air now.